Bro, you can't put this in here. Why not? That, Cause it's not. Cause it's supposed to be funny. What up, though? Welcome to Hate by Design, the YouTube channel where we explore what is design, who is it for, who are designers, and who needs it most. I'm Fashan Vega, and this is Trisha, better known as Yoga Bay on Instagram and soon to be YouTube. From Life Yoga. Uh, today we won't be necessarily going into a hack or any design flaws, but it kind of has to do with how we design our lives. So here's the thing. Sham Booty, better known as Sham Boudrin, I recently got to meet with her. I want a chance to have a private session with her at VidCon. We actually got a chance to hang out before and after we did the video. And as a fan, I seen her recent upload with her and her partner Jared called I won't break up with you but you annoy me <laughs> but you annoy me and as soon as I seen it I tweeted her like I think me and Trisha will do a video and she responded like I love that do it and I was like alright well here we are <laughs> you see <laughs> and like I'm like oh yeah so Trisha wants to tell the world about it. the things that I do that annoy her ironically enough if you go watch her and Jared's video they actually start off talking about how they're best friends. <laughs> and I thought that was extremely cute because they don't know this, but Trisha always, every day, asks me. <laughs> every single day. Every day. What do you ask me? Is we best friends. Is, <laughs> is, not are we. It's not are we, because that's just too real. Like it's just it's are we is too serious. Like, is we best friends? Is we best? Is we or not? She asks me every day, is we know. best friends? It could change. It, people change day to day and never know. Trisha asks me every day, is we best friends? Yes, babe. She say, is I'm your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> is I'm your best friend? Babe, is I'm your best friend? Yes, babe, you is my best friend. Okay. So, we made a list. I have a, I have a short list. Trisha has a long list. Of <laughs> it's not long, it's medium size. It's medium. It's small, medium size <laughs> list of the things that irritate her. Do you want to go first just because, like, ladies first? I'll say mine first because I have more. So I'm probably going to start and finish. So, <laughs> so first things first. Then you got the list memorized? I know what my first one's going to be. <laughs> so we both have an extreme obsession with Q-tips. And... If you know either of us, you know that we like to clean our ears with Q-tip. Not just clean our ears, though. So he will take the Q-tip and, like, he sticks it a certain way in his ear. Like, he, he explains that it's a certain way he sticks it in here, which I do, too. I know it's, like, in and up. So when he does it, he makes this extremely annoying sound. I'm not even going to try to imitate it's it. It's so weird. But disclaimer, most people I've, I've learned recently, I thought I was alone in this. A lot of people have eargasms. They got they got a whole tool about like, yeah, but the, the noise, the, though, I never make I've never heard anybody make this noise before. It's like uh, the sound of like clearing snot and like you ever try coughing. To, you know, I try to clear your throat. It's like it, it's it like helps scratch because it's itchy. Bro. I'm itching and it's like an itch in the inside. Not only does he do this. He will do it in the middle of like anywhere. So we'll be eating dinner and he'll just pull out a Q-tip. That's not true. <laughs> like, I'm not, bro, and I don't do that. You do at, do at, that. At he at does food. it in the worst times. I don't do it if we He'll I, do it I, I in my ear. I don't do it in public. Okay, he doesn't do it well. Yeah, I don't, don't want to hear it. <laughs> this one isn't the worst one, but it is irritating. First of all, I don't like feet. I'm not a fan <laughs> of feet. Which I know, by the way. Which really makes this irritating. I don't know what it is with women, <laughs> all of y'all. I don't know what it is about you and your partners. Y'all want to put y'all feet on each other. But she got this thing where she want to put her nasty feet My feet in my are face. not nasty, though. All feet is nasty. Yeah. Don't put your feet on nobody. <laughs> it ain't that she ain't got cute feet. She got pretty feet, but they still feet. <laughs> don't put your feet on me. And like, she like, we'll be everything cool and she just randomly like put her foot towards my face and I'm like I will beat you up man I won't beat her up but it's like her feet I'm like me and her feet is beefed out if her feet was attached from her me and her feet could throw them bows not them toes <laughs> throw them bows this is fun it's not fun if the other person's not having fun this happens when he's asleep oh this, no, is, this is my no. number two too <laughs> My number two is farting in his sleep. 
because this is why it irritates me is because he can't control it so like regularly if either of us fart usually we'll be like oh excuse me or like maybe move to another room if you're feeling like generous but in his sleep it's just a free-for-all like it doesn't matter he doesn't matter who so the issue is here <laughs> this is mine too with her <laughs> issue is she is in the and this goes into one of my other ones with hers <laughs> denial Bae, that's that's bae, not even funny. Bae, that's a bae, serious one. Bae, I'm, this is supposed to be funny. I'm flat out serious <laughs> with you. The fact that you be in denial about <laughs> the things that you do or don't do. She suicides bombs me like at night. Like she will fart and wake me up. She <laughs> she didn't walk, farted and woke herself up out of her sleep before. So the fact that like this and this goes to another one like you a hypocrite. She talking about me and my farting in my sleep. She will wake up the whole house. It's the difference between my farts no, and his farts. First, first of all, <laughs> first of all, in the daytime, I don't know what it is, but her farts don't make noise. But they kill. They never make They're noise. Cute. No, and her sleep. <laughs> It's like, I must, I get in the daytime, she'd be like slowly releasing. But for whatever reason, in the nighttime, when she sleeps, it's like, it's just like, it's a free fall. And it'd be bad. Cause you know, you know, booty scoot. Girls want to booty scoot you. <laughs> bro, and she'd be farting on me, bro. And I'm like, that's the one that's like, I ain't never had nobody fart on me, dog. Like, really? All the time. It's like a ritual. I feel like she don't feel like she get rim. She don't reach rim lucid sleep. <laughs> I don't know because I'd be asleep. Man, on to the next one. Jump some. I fart. You. No, I wake up bad sleep. I had nightmare. Toilet paper roll. <laughs> it's two kinds of people in the world. You rather put the toilet paper roll like closer to the wall or you put it on the outside. What type of toilet paper roll person are you? Inside or outside? We'll get numbers. It irritates me because it's like I know every time she go to replace the toilet paper, she know the last conversation we you you know. You know the last I don't know which way you actually I actually don't outside. know which way you want it to be. So outside. you want it to go roll over? Yes. Forward, okay. not backward. The toilet paper roll should be out towards you, not towards mm -hmm. the wall. You shouldn't Why, have though? you shouldn't have to like touch the wall to grab the toilet paper. It should be away from the wall. Like if you just got done touching your privates or wiping your butt or something, and, like next thing you know you got you gotta get close to the wall to touch the toilet paper. It makes no sense. The toilet paper should be in front, so you just grab the toilet paper and begin to roll. Sorry. Maybe it'll work this time. <laughs> Next. My third one is piggybacking off of my second one, kind of, and it's sleep habits. So usually when we cuddle, don't try to look at my list trying to figure out what it is. Usually when we cuddle, we'll spoon or some sort of it because I can't really sleep with like my body facing towards you while you're facing towards me because I like to be curled into like a C shape. She just thinks she's a baby. I am a baby. I'm the baby of the situation. She's a grown ass adult. But when we cuddle, this is how I gotta sleep. So he puts his fucking big ass leg <laughs> over on top of me. Like I'm not, first of all, get off of me. <laughs> yeah, you I'm 125 pounds. If you're the big spoon, you get to do what you want with your leg. No, the big spoon just curls around the little spoon. The little spoon's right here, big spoon right here. I'm trying to, Wait. I'm trying to protect you. This is what the big spoon's and supposed to do. this is what my leg is doing. This is me. This, this, this big spoon. <laughs> no. This is how you So his leg over. comes over on big top spoon. of me and crushes me. And, and I just be hot and uncomfortable. Cabinets. Bathroom <laughs> cabinets specifically. <laughs> I forgot about this one. I don't know what it is about our bathroom cabinet. <laughs> but she swears <laughs> that she closes it and she doesn't. And it's like the most, it's the littlest like little crack. And she'll be like, it's closed. And it's like, dude, it's not closed. And then I go to close it and it's because she didn't put her toothbrush or something <laughs> in the cabinet back the right no, way. No, it fell. It's it like, just fell like, out. No, it just move. Just move it. Just close the cabinet. And then she like, I closed the cabinet. I'm like, so I didn't literally like wait it. Like I go in the bathroom <laughs> knowing that it's closed and I leave out and she going behind me and I wait to go look in there behind it. Like she be like, but you close the cabinet? Yeah, and I'm looking at it like the cabinet's not closed. She said, well, I thought I closed it. I closed it. I'm like, what are you doing? Are you closing the cabinet with your eyes closed? I always wonder, like, like, I close it as I walk out. No, like, close it and, like, oh, it's closed. Confirm. I close it as I walk out, and usually it just doesn't close all the way. 
but I do try to close it. Like, oh. I, I'm not, I don't just leave it wide open. Just close it. <laughs> like, it's not complicated, Matt. Just close it. Okay. Just close it. Do you still love me? I do. Okay. Go ahead. Wow, well, I have a lot of sleep habits that I don't like of yours. <laughs> Maybe we should have separate rooms. No, I like to cuddle too much. Like, Bay 3 can come with me. Wherever no, she is. she's Bay, not coming Bay, with you. Bay 3, she's coming with you? me. No, Bay 3 coming. No, because I need cuddles. I just don't. I need cuddles. No. So anyways. If you want to be a Bay 3, sign up right here. <laughs> sign up. Drop your Instagram name below. Drop your Instagram Slide in our DMs. Slide in the DMs. <laughs> We're polygamous, if you didn't know already, if I didn't mention it. We'll pick up on that later. All right, so here's the bonus round. Here's one thing I just love about you. Her open mind as far as being aware of social issues and injustices and using her privilege to ensure that uh, oppressed people have access to resources and are treated fairly. Her uh, power as a woman and how she holds that in her space, how she understands the fight for women is necessary, but not doesn't mean that you have to bash men to reclaim your power. I think that's really important and I find it very attractive. Her organic and just like flat out love for me, she loves me to pieces. And I'm happy she was aware of our importance maybe even before I was. And if it wasn't for that, the chance of us being together probably would be less. I just really appreciate who she's been as far as a person, her open heart, her open mind, her willingness to give, her willingness to learn, her excitedness to give and learn, which is extremely attractive. Outside of being pretty, she's loving, dedicated to the things that she finds important. <laughs> she researches, she shares, she's a good friend, she's a quality human. And I really feel like she puts humans first and people first in her life. And that really helps me magnetize towards her. So Aww. I love that. There's a lot of things that I could say that I like about our relationship and just you as a person. But I think my main thing is just how much fun we have. We just always have fun. Like you guys don't really get to see it much cause he's in his videos, he's mostly like working and I'm not really there or I'm not, you know, I'm helping him out behind the scenes, but we have a lot of fun. We laugh all the time. We dance, we just, we make a joke out of everything. Like we'll be fighting and then I'll just randomly start popping my butt on him. Like it's, we just have a lot of fun. And it makes my life a lot better because laughing is healing. Like laughing heal, heals a lot. For me, I think personally it has helped my skin and just being ha like genuinely happy and not having like, prior to our relationship, I think I would actually watch things to make me laugh because I wasn't just, I just wasn't laughing as much. It's like, I know that I need to laugh, but like nothing is funny. People are weird. Like my relationships are weird. Like my, you know, I like that you're funny. Well, he's funny by himself, but we also have a lot of fun. So it works out. He makes me have more fun. Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about us? as polygamous. Mm. Well, we both obviously like girls. If you don't know that I like girls, now you know. Um, and for me, it's fun because even if we never had another person in our relationship, like we want to, um, we, always, we just like to hit on girls, like in like move like, ooh, look at her bae, or ooh, look like, we'll send videos of girls and stuff like that. To me, it makes the relationship more fun because it's open and like, there's no hiding things. I think uh, that's probably the coolest thing uh, in our relationship is, so going back to like why I love her, is like the openness, the honesty. Uh, I've I've actually never been in a relationship or, or a situation where I can be this honest with somebody that I'm dedicated to. Like she's sending more booty pictures and girl <laughs> pictures to my to my DMs and I send to hers. Like she's always finding girls. But yeah, uh, look for our next video featuring Trisha slash Yoga Bay, where we talk about our relationship as polygamists, how we got here, what we think about relationships in general. Uh, kind of going to touch on what Shen Booty had to say about polygamy and breaking up or staying together uh, in our video. And uh, besides that, it's about that time and we'd like to thank you for yours. I'm Fashan Vega. This is Trisha slash Yoga Bay. And this is Hate by Design. Remember, design is human, so put humans first. As always, define, design, repeat. Hey, now you know I couldn't leave you.
without talking about Decoy. Detroit conglomerate of YouTubers. That's everybody who's in the group who make Detroit videos. That's about Detroit. That's putting you up on what's happening here, what you can expect, what you can look out for. All the links below. Make sure you follow them. And when you do, say what up, though.